As they took his garments off, they exposed his bare and unmarked skin. Bear with him just one minute. It's difficult to even do that. You see, it's chained to a post as an expert chooses his tools for the flogging. If I can have your attention just for a second and let me highlight humanity at its worst while you take a break from your coffee, sipping and blogging. Briskly, they chained his naked body to the whipping post for the flagellation that was to ensue. Beastly, the guard whips the first slash of many cracking the cattle nine tails across his back, embedding metal into his nerve endings roots while simultaneously ripping flesh from his body. The first of many nerve endings becoming exposed, a stinging, stabbing, and burning sensation fires through his nervous system as the whipmaster grins, fulfilling the depths of his sadistic longings. Berating in the background are the self-righteous who take pleasure in the sound of the shrapnel, the sound of shrapnel tearing into his skin. Lash after lash, his back is literally ripped to shreds. With pieces of skin still hanging, the soldiers take time to twist the crown of thorns together to further prepare the mockery of the kingship he was claiming. They throw a purple robe on his tattered back and begin delivering blows, punch after punch to his face, gut, and nose. This turns into the target practice as they deliver another blow to his eye and begins to close. Beaming at their wittiness, to make further mockery, they adorn him with his crown of thorns that presses deep into his skull. Blood pours out of his head, and not too soon after his body began its natural healing process of closing the wounds on his back, the robe that began sticking to the open wounds was ripped off, and off comes more of his skin. He is further exposed. And they stand him before the crowd, unrecognizable, naked, black, and blue. And when given the choice for a pardon, instead of Jesus, it's a murderous insurrectionist they choose. Behold, the Son of God beaten for me. So I exposed his bare and unmarked skin and chained him to the whipping post, preparing him for his flogging. This is me at my worst. If I can get your attention for a second, can you break again from your coffee, sipping and blogging? I need to confess something. Beastly without hesitation, I pick up the cat o' nine tails to rip into Jesus' back with every lustful click or envious snare. Every adulterous glance, mischievous plan, deceitful lie or opioid high is a crack of the whip, piece of beard that is ripped, tear of his back, and blood that gets spattered from the veins of Jesus. Beeping and honking aggressively, swerving around the slow driver in front of me is a glimpse of the hate and impatience I have for Jesus, so stare. Stare at my blight. This infectious fungus that increases my culpability to punch Jesus square in the face and press a crown of thorns into his skull and watch him bleed from his head. Oh, the secret adulation that beams within me to watch this man suffer at my expense, the joy of my pridefulness. Basing my debased mind to tear pieces of his body off his back and leave him battered, bruised, and bloodied is influenced by my indwelling sinfulness. And when given the choice between a righteous and an innocent king worthy of glory, I always seem to choose the vile and ravenous creature in this story. Myself, the Son of God, was beaten by me.